How's it going? Well, Star Wars fans, welcome to another Vintage Collection action figure review. This time we're looking at the second figure from the San Diego Comic Con special action figure set, Luke Skywalker Jedi Destiny. Now we're talking, looking at X-Wing Pilot Luke, as you can see right in front of you. Um, this is a good one. They're really, really thrilled with this figure. Um, there is one minor problem with my particular sample, but I will get... Um, I'll get over that. <laughs> Either that or I'll end up getting a replacement um, from a Hong Kong seller. But overall, this figure is pretty damn nice. It's not... It's a brand new sculpt um, as far as I know everything is new on this figure we've had a lot of X-Wing pilot looks in the past um, and this one is by far the best so he does come with that to focus his rebel blaster And his Red 5 helmet. Looks nice and clean, no, no sort of weathering or damage on that or anything, but that's fine. Still a nice piece. And we'll get a look at the figure, the head sculpt itself. Now, unfortunately, on his right eye there, mine's lost a tiny little bit of paint. It either hasn't or either, either it's lost a little bit of paint or it just hasn't transferred properly in the printing process. So, um, that's a little disappointing, but that's okay. Um, kind of just looks like he's looking off elsewhere. <laughs> but we'll go with what the rest of the figure is and we'll just say that's an error. Um, no indictment on the figure itself. Uh, because the head sculpt is fantastic. Um, the hair looks brilliant. So that sculpt is fantastic. I love what they've done here. Particularly if we uh, fit that helmet on. You can barely tell <laughs> that there's a problem with the eye. Um, now what I've just I've just realized because I haven't spent a lot of time sitting around looking at these figures just yet but the uh, white vest here is actually a separate piece now I'm not sure that it's going to be removable at all um, it was more than likely it was just put together in the production process of the figure but that's that's a cool addition it just adds a little bit more um, depth to depth to the figure as opposed to it being completely sculpted um, and I guess it also gives Hasbro just a um, a base figure underneath that they could probably use for multiple characters down the line um, if this is something they're going to do in the future so just that torso piece um, upper chest torso piece it, it just gives them an extra option in the future by not sculpting that on and having a separate piece which is quite smart in my opinion. Aside from that, the rest of the jumpsuit looks good. The uh, strapping down here is all individual piece. So that moves. Something they have been doing for quite a long time. The sort of belt around the boot there looks nice. There's black shiny boots, a little bit of orange paint sort of shining through there. And, and on the uh, glove as well. You can sort of just see a little bit in there. That's a it's a little bit of a bummer, but that's okay. Again, with a with a black marker, you can just touch that up quite easily. But I'm pretty thrilled with this figure. Um, this is a nice one, and uh, rumor is that we're getting Luke's X-wing coming out in the vintage collection soon as well. So that may be a that may be a must buy. Um, I do have Biggs's X-wing from a few years back. But uh, I would get Luke's X-Wing as well in a heartbeat. Just great details, great paint apps. Except for that eye. <laughs> but that's just my sample, so don't judge it on that. Love to hear what you guys think. Sound out in the comments below. 
Next up, we're back with Jedi. Jedi Jill. Jedi. Jedi Knight Luke. That's what I'm trying to say. So stay tuned for that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next one, may the force be with you.